Hey everyone, so I've noticed something in the Toy Story trilogy that no one else seems to have really pointed out before. So I just wanted to go ahead and do a really quick video about it. I guess technically you could call this a theory, but it's really more of an observation that I've noticed for a while and want to share with you guys. So it relates to the presence of one of the non-sentient toys from Andy's room, the Magic 8-Ball. You probably know it best from this scene. Will Andy pick me? Don't count on it! Oh! But what's noteworthy here is that, while a memorable gag in its own right, this is what gives Woody the idea to try and pull a little prank on Buzz that'll get him briefly stuck there too. Of course, the plan goes horribly wrong and results in Buzz getting knocked out the window, and the other toys thinking that Woody did this intentionally. In a way, the Magic 8-Ball sort of sets the events of the story of the first film in motion. Where am I going with this? Well, we see the 8-Ball once again in Toy Story 2. After Woody's arm is ripped during a quick pre-cowboy camp playtime session, Andy informs his mother of the incident. She suggests trying to fix him on the way, but Andy says to just leave him. So Andy's mom, with the haunting words of, you know, toys don't last forever, goes ahead to place him in a secure spot so that he can be fixed later. Where should she put him? Well, a precedent has been set for the toys that are broken and or aren't getting much use, and lo and behold, the one displayed in the exact spot Andy's mom sees and places Woody in front of is, you guessed it, the Magic 8 Ball again. Dusty, perhaps because of the days it spent behind that chest until it was finally spotted. Why is it so significant that Woody gets placed here? Well, this is the exact self where Woody is able to find Wheezy behind some books, cluing Woody into Wheezy's plight, so that when Andy's mom takes Wheezy to the yard sale, Woody notices and decides to go after him. Of course, once he goes outside with Buster, he's spotted by Al and stolen. And then all the toys have to go and rescue him, and so we have Toy Story 2. The Magic 8 Ball is starting to become a bit of a bad omen at this rate. It's probably just a coincidence, but I don't know, at this point I'd suggest staying away from it. But then this brings us to Toy Story 3, specifically the scene in which Andy's mom is telling Andy to separate his belongings into three sections college, attic, and trash, before he leaves for school on Friday. Andy reluctantly obliges and begins putting the toys into a trash bag, sans Woody, who he places in the college box. Woody is frightened at first, until he realizes that Andy is moving to take them up to the attic. He breathes a sigh of relief, but then Molly comes along. Andy's mom had also asked Molly to do some straightening up and donate some old toys to the daycare. Molly is carrying a box of said donations, but is having trouble since it's so heavy. It's so heavy that an item falls out of the box. And after this happens, this prompts Andy to realize she needs help. He walks over, he picks up the item for her, he puts it back in the box, and then he carries it down the stairs with her. As a result, the trash bag of the toys is left out in the hallway, and Andy's mom nearly trips over it, and then annoyedly takes it out to the curb, understandably believing it to be trash. The toys narrowly escape the bag, thinking that Andy intended to throw them out, Jesse gets the idea to go into the donation box so they can go to daycare instead, and once again, the adventure is propelled outside of Andy's room, and so we have Toy Story 3. And what was that aforementioned item? Uh, what, what, was it a uh, Etch-a-Sketch? Was it, uh, was it Hockey Puck? No, it was the Magic 8-Ball! I guess Andy had given it to Molly after not wanting it anymore, and now Molly too is ready to part with this prophetic knickknack. Wow, every single bad thing that has happened to Woody, the Magic 8-Ball has been right there for, and arguably indirectly caused. Could one say the 8-Ball is dooming Woody to face consequences for the day he pushed it behind the desk? After all, it did fall out of Andy's good graces in the time that followed, getting dusty, being selved, and passed down to Molly, and then donated without a second thought. Maybe it placed a curse on Woody, wanting to ensure he learned from his mistakes and became a better toy, because maybe the Magic 8-Ball really is magic. Or maybe it's just a fun pattern I noticed in all the films because I don't have a life. You can bet I'll keep an eye out for it in Toy Story 4. After all, the Magic 8-Ball did end up getting sent to Sunnyside Daycare, which the toys are still in contact with. So could we end up seeing it wreak havoc once again? It certainly is possible, but, you know. Don't 